नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन दिल्ली वेदर ब्रीफिंग हाईलाइट्स ऑफ टुडे दिल्ली वेदर ब्रीफिंग आर दैट द हीट वेव टू सीवियर हीट वेव कंडीशन ओवर ईस्ट इंडिया आर लाइकली टू इंप्रूव फ्रॉम टुमारो इट सेल्फ दैट इज सेकेंड ऑफ मे एंड ओवर over uh, uh, south and solar india these are likely to improve uh, from 4th of may and uh, heat wave conditions are likely to develop over the uh, central india and the uh, west india uh, from uh, uh, over west india from today itself uh, and from uh, over central india from 3rd of may and uh, heavy rainfall activity over northeast india is uh, likely to continue till tomorrow and thereafter uh, uh, the rainfall activity over northeast india and thunderstorm activity activity is likely to reduce and another spell over northeast india is expected uh, from uh, 5th of may so as far as uh, observed weather is concerned so heat wave to severe heat wave conditions at uh, Uh, at many places over over gangetic west bengal at some places over odisha and over some places over over bihar and uh, uh, eastern parts of jharkhand has occurred during past 24 hours uh, uh, observed at 17 30 hours ast of yesterday and heat wave conditions have been observed uh, uh, with the severe heat wave conditions over uh, uh, rayalaseema and uh, and interior karnataka and uh, uh, heat wave conditions have been observed over uh, north konkan and gujarat state with each uh, with one station each from saurashtra and uh, and uh, uh, from gujarat region that is uh, 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 one station from uh, saurashtra is div and uh, one station from uh, gujarat region is valsad and uh, this is the uh, maximum temperature map uh, for the entire country and uh, and uh, this this one is the departure so we can see that the departures have crossed 7 degree centigrade from the long period average over gangetic west bengal uh, yesterday uh, kalai kunda of gangetic west bengal reported 47.2 degree centigrade of maximum temperature which was highest over the country uh for for yesterday and uh, the the next station which uh, reported uh, uh second highest over the country uh, was was uh, pahar gora uh, in the east singhum district of jharkhand and that was 47.1 degree centigrade so these are the uh, synoptic conditions and the wd has moved uh, significantly eastward with the Uh, hardly any any uh, potential to give any activity over the western himalayan region and uh, we have a east west trough over uh, over uh, uh, over north east india uh, coming from uh, north bihar to going up to nagaland and manipur across uh, some of the west bengal and assam and meghalaya and also we are having uh, 20 to 25 not strong south westerly winds into the northeast india from bay of bengal and this activity this uh, strong wind uh, along with the east west trough is causing heavy to very heavy rainfall over the region uh, today also a very heavy rainfall uh, of 13 cm has been observed over arunachal pradesh and uh, again we are expecting arunachal pradesh assam uh, and uh, uh, especially south assam and meghalaya and uh, tripura and mizoram uh, isolated heavy rainfall activity uh, today and uh, and uh, tomorrow very heavy rainfall activity is expected over uh, uh, tripura and mizoram and uh, and uh, south assam and meghalaya and uh, along with the thunderstorm activity with the strong gust winds of the order of 50 to 60 kmph with the gusts of the order of 70 kmph uh, over over these areas especially the areas of uh, uh, tripura mizoram and and uh, south assam and meghalaya and thereafter the rainfall activity over northeast india will decrease and again we are expecting heavy rainfall activity over uh, uh, over uh, northeast india from uh, 5th of uh, 5th of may then if we come over to uh, uh, the heat wave uh, scenario so today uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions at many places is uh, likely over over gangetic west bengal and it is likely to continue over gangetic west bengal uh, till uh, tomorrow and thereafter the heat wave conditions is likely to improve over gangetic west bengal uh, from uh, many places uh, to to uh, isolated uh, places uh, Uh, with a severe heat wave on on 3rd of may and thereafter only heat wave conditions uh, uh, is uh, likely over organic west bengal on 4th of may and uh, heat wave conditions on 5th of may 
as far as odisha is concerned so thunderstorm activity has uh, started occurring over uh, uh, bhubneshwar and adjoining areas and uh, uh, therefore temperature uh, 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 scenario is likely to uh, become uh, uh, become uh, uh, more uh, favorable uh, for human activity and uh, uh, heat wave although heat wave to severe heat wave conditions at some places is likely uh, uh, today as well and but uh, from tomorrow the heat wave condition is likely to improve over odisha tomorrow itself although for kannada west bengal it is likely to continue uh, till tomorrow and improvement is likely over kannada west bengal from 3rd of may so over uh, odisha it is, uh, it is only orange color on the, uh, tomorrow and thereafter only only yellow color is there for odisha uh, till till 5th of may uh, likewise uh, over uh, east bihar and east jharkhand the heat wave conditions in uh, some parts uh, would uh, continue till tomorrow and thereafter uh, we are seeing an increase over these areas so here we can uh, easily see that how the temperature having red and orange color on uh, on first and second may is uh, uh, for the heat wave conditions is converting into the yellow color uh, uh, warning map on 3rd of may so 3rd of may we are expecting uh, improvement uh, significant improvement in the heat uh, heat wave conditions over gangetic west bengal and second of may we are expecting uh, significant improvement over in heat wave conditions over odisha as far as south peninsula india is concerned so uh, the uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over rail sima and adjoining parts of uh, coastal andhra pradesh and over interior karnataka is uh, likely to continue till uh, till 3rd of may and there after uh, we are expecting uh, uh, a slight improvement on 4th of may over uh, these heat wave areas and from 5th of may we are uh, expecting over south peninsula india also significant uh, 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 thunderstorm activity over this region as we can see here in the rainfall map that uh, isolated uh, light rainfall activity map over uh, tamil nadu and kerala uh, only is going to be uh, isolated uh, rainfall activity map over uh, coastal andhra pradesh rail sima and then south india karnataka kerala and tamil nadu and on uh, on 5th of may uh, this uh, activity is uh, likely to further extend into uh, telangana and uh, 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 southern parts of north interior karnataka so here the heat wave condition uh, so uh, in nutshell if we see the heat wave conditions over uh, south peninsular india, peninsular india would uh, improve uh, from 4th of may and over east india uh, would improve from uh, over odisha from 2nd of may and over gangetic west bengal uh, from 3rd of may but uh, uh, as the northwesterly lower level, lower tropospheric level winds are prevailing over uh, northwest and central india so the temperatures are likely to increase over these uh, regions which were uh, uh, far below the uh, uh, long period average and these are likely to increase and uh, we are expecting that uh, madhya pradesh uh, uh, especially southern madhya pradesh and uh, vidarbha and chatisgarh are likely to fall in the grip of heat wave conditions from 3rd of may and uh, the heat wave conditions over marathwada madhya maharashtra konkan and gujarat is uh, which has been observed over uh, uh, today yesterday itself uh, at uh, one station each of gujarat and uh, saurashtra and over mumbai as well uh, yes, as well as mumbai yesterday so this is likely to extend to madhya maharashtra and marathwada also and uh, it is likely to continue over these areas from uh, uh, from uh, today itself up to 5th of may so uh, heat wave conditions over these areas would uh, increase uh, and uh, these areas would come under the grip of heat wave conditions like uh, Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha and Chhattisgarh and heat wave conditions would uh, uh, further propagate from uh, Konkan and, uh, and Gujarat into Madhya Maharashtra and Marathwada from today itself and uh, uh, but, but over East India and South Peninsula in India there would be a significant improvement in heat wave conditions uh, uh, from 2nd May onwards and uh, over uh, northwest india also uh, although there is no possibility of heat wave conditions as of now but uh, the maximum temperatures are likely to increase significantly by around 4 to 6 degrees centigrade from tomorrow itself uh, during subsequent 2-3 uh, days and thereafter again uh, we are expecting a, a western disturbance to affect uh, northwest india from 4th of may 
although it is not likely to give uh, significant rainfall activity but uh, uh, scattered uh, rainfall activity scattered light to moderate rainfall activity over uh, uh, over western himalayan region during uh, 4th to uh, 6th of may and isolated rainfall activity over uh, uh, punjab haryana uh, west uttar pradesh and north rajasthan is likely during 4th to 7th of may so that's all for today tomorrow we'll again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days thank you and goodbye